Hi everyone. In this video, I will be introducing you to the Shared Settings feature in Ivanti Patch for SCCM. So, let's get started. Beginning with version 2.4, you now have the option of choosing between two different configuration setting levels, User Settings or Shared Settings. You will make this choice on the Shared Settings tab of the Settings dialog. By default, all settings are user settings. This means that all choices you make on the settings dialog apply only to you on this machine. If there are multiple users of the program in your organization, each user must specify their own settings. You can think of this as the legacy option, as this is how the program has operated in all previous versions. If you have multiple users, you might consider using the shared settings option. The primary advantage of this option is that certain settings can be shared by other users who also choose to use shared settings, and those settings will be shared regardless of where you are when you access the council. In addition, when you enable sharing, any custom or composite smart filters that you create may be made available to other users. Before we go any further, I need to quickly mention that there are a couple of new requirements associated with this feature. Every user who chooses to use Shared Settings must be an authorized WIMI user and must have full right permission to the root namespace of the primary SCCM site. You can find out more details about these requirements in the Help System. So, with those preliminaries now out of the way, let's choose Use Shared Settings and I'll walk you through the differences. When you opt in to Shared Settings, a message will be displayed informing you that several areas will be affected. Let's take a look at those areas. Any tab that is affected by shared settings will contain this message. On the WSUS Server tab, Server Name, Port, and Signing Timestamp are the settings that will be shared. On the Offline Options tab, both the Local Source Folder location and the choice to run Disconnected will be shared. On the Scheduled tab, a single scheduled task will be shared by each user who has elected to use Shared Settings. The task will be used on every council machine at your site. Only one user at a time will be able to take ownership of the shared scheduled task and make modifications. In this demo, there is currently no scheduled task, so I'll quickly create one to show you what happens. Let's reopen the Settings dialog to see the new scheduled task. As you can see, the program has listed me as the owner of the task, and it shows the name of the machine it was created on. As the owner, I will be allowed to make modifications to the task. If another shared user accesses this tab, they will be able to see the shared scheduled task, but they won't be able to modify it. They can, however, take ownership by deleting the shared task and creating a new one. In this scenario, that user's name would appear on this tab rather than mine. Now this can get a little tricky and I highly recommend you read more about this in the help system, but I think you get the idea. Another area that is affected by the shared settings feature is alerts. Let's go take a quick look. The email addresses that you specify when managing alert subscriptions will be available to other users on all other console machines who are also using shared settings. Alerts are another new feature in version 2.4 and I explain much more about them in a separate video. Finally, any custom or composite smart filters that you create may be shared with other users who are also using shared settings. For example, let's go create a new filter. The option to select the scope of the filter is new and is only available if you are using shared settings. Let's configure this filter to be a shared filter, give the filter a name, define a rule, and then see what happens.
As you can see, the term shared has been appended to the end of the filter name so that you can easily confirm that this filter is being shared with other users who are also using shared settings. If we had elected not to share the new filter, the term private would be appended to the end of the name. For example, And that concludes this video. For more information about Ivanti Patch for SCCM or any of our other products, please see the other videos available on this channel or visit our product documentation page. Thanks for watching.